Good morning, Alabama. It is July 7th. We haven't been out to the garden for a while. Marie and I are recovering from our shoulder surgery, so we uh, haven't been out here too much. Got out here today and tied up a bunch of tomatoes. Um, our potatoes are doing very well. They're starting to turn yellow, so we would expect that in another week, probably, we'll be harvesting our uh, three different kinds of potatoes. Our carrots are, of course, still doing well, and our onions just totally suck. <laughs> <laughs> our apples are doing well. We just got done whew, out here sweating to death, tying up all our tomatoes. We've had tremendous rainstorms, uh, but they're all doing pretty well. The Romas aren't doing well. I think the heat is getting to them. Um, they're rotting before they're rotting on the bottom. Um, but our big boys and our better boys and our Independence Days and our beefsteaks, Romas, two kinds of cherries, are doing very, very well. So it looks like we're going to have at least some good tomatoes this year. Whew. Our green peppers are doing well. It's just been stifling hot. Ugh. And with both of us in slings, it's been very, very hard. But uh, we are managing. Look at that. Oh, wow. We got to pick those. Yeah. Look at that. Uh -huh. And uh, we got lots of green peppers. And our eggplant that aren't eggplant that are actually jalapenos that came out of the eggplant package. We've got tons and tons of jalapeno peppers. Um... Marie's going to pickle them. She is the master pickler. She made tremendous pickles last year out of the cucumbers and she she pickled the uh pickled the um okra and uh she does it all. She puts up the tomatoes. Look at all of those jalapenos. Oh my gosh. Right there. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Holy cow. Yeah, those are supposed to have all been our eggplants. Our um, zucchinis are done. It just is hot, hot. Our cow peas. Our cow peas are humongous this year. And uh, I'm sorry, I can't see through the screen very well. My GoPro is broke. And uh, got lots and lots of cow peas that we'll be picking this year. They're almost ready. Wow, well, they are almost ready. They are doing tremendously well. The okra is doing well. We just had to get all the tomatoes that had fallen on the okra from the rainstorms. Ooh, I'm going to have to go around that way. Yeah. Oh, I can go through here. Okay. So I just picked some okra. Yeah, a couple days ago and uh, we got our tremendous green beans look at pole these beans. pole beans I'm sorry look at these pole beans oh, where's the okay yeah. look at that pole bean that's ready to pick we got tons of them that are ready to pick and I uh, picked a big bag yesterday oh my goodness we've been giving them away look at that mm -hmm. all those beans and the okra is coming up. Look at the okra. Got to follow my finger because I can't see through this screen very well, and I apologize for that. My GoPro battery went. Of course, it's been through heck, been run over by trucks, and been smashed and in the water. And look at that okra. So I had to get a new battery. Ooh, I love okra blooms. They are just look like beautiful. Look at that beautiful bloom. Those like little orchids. Look at that. Yep. Isn't that beautiful? Look like they remind me of hibiscus. And more beans. God, look at these beans. Look at those beans. My goodness. Look at this. Wow. I don't eat beans. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yep, I think we'll be out here tomorrow picking. You gotta come out early. Well, it's as cool as possible. Uh, our corn is doing very well. It's about uh, ready to pick. We got the four different kinds of corn. And uh, they are doing well. They got lots of ears of corn. And uh, we will be picking and processing corn. Okay, can I come over here? Okay, our crookneck squash, we got a different kind this year that we're just not happy with. I mean, we got some squash, but I don't th think we're going to get this brand anymore. It's just not producing like uh, like it should. So, uh, I mean, we're getting some, but... And our acorn squash is doing awesome. Look at this nice acorn squash right here. Look at that. Oh, I'm sorry. These are butternut squash. Been out in the sun too long. So we got several of those. Uh, we got some beautiful cucumbers. There's some in there that I... There's a big one down in there that I want to get. I can't get to it. I'll have to get in there so I can show it to you. Uh, did you find any acorn squash? Yeah. I'm going in. Right here. Okay, let me get in here. Uh, okay, we got acorn squash. Uh, right there. I'm not sure there's more. These are the mammoth acorn squash. <clears throat> yeah, I see one. There's one little one right there. Yeah. And then over here. What? Did I do something? No, we were stepping all over the vine. Oh, uh, we got surprises. Look at that. That is a cucumber. Look at the size of that cucumber. I'm gonna clip that little puppy. Something is crawling on my face. Look at that. Nice. It won't fit. I know it won't. Let me see what else we got in here. And again, these are pickle bush cucumbers and we're a little disappointed. They're totally different. They're totally, all right, I'm gonna shut this off for right and pause. Okay, these are the cucumbers we got. Wow, that's a lot of cucumbers. Nice. Okay, and then we have uh, our spaghetti squash. Um, we, have we have one just coming out down here. They are just starting to come out. Here, so we got some babies coming out there. They're doing well. Between the heat and the rain and the storms, I tell you, it's been a heck of a summer. It's been a different summer. My cantaloupe uh, are doing well. We found cantaloupe. We got some cantaloupe here. Nice cantaloupe there. Cantaloupe there. There's a baby one there. Somewhere there. The one on the side here. Nice one there. So they're doing well. And then my honeydew. Oh my goodness, what we found in the honey the little frog. And the honeydew melons. Uh, look at that. Honeydew there. Look at the size of that. Honeydew. We got honeydew back here. This is gonna be our our viney area that's gonna be fun. We got huge honeydews back here. Look at that. Over here, it looks like a papaya, but it's a honeydew, and there's more inside of here. I mean, they're just all over the place. I put straw under them. I, I know uh, makes, it easier to find. makes them easier to find. It keeps them dry on the bottom, too. So there's probably a good eight honeydew in there. Wow. And there's more of our corn. This is, look at the size of the ears of these. Nah. Yeah, I would say our corn is, uh, a lot of it is. is about ready. Some of it's not. Shucking's going to be fun with one arm. <laughs> Whew. But we are doing good. Now, our gourds, again, we plant the gourds. We can make birdhouses out of them. Oh, there's another one. 
You see all these little gourds here? Yeah. Growing. And we got this nice one back here that Marie found. And you hollow them out and they make nice bird houses out of them for all the little birds. They love them and whew, that's basically what they look like. They get big. This is going to be a best year of gourd yet. We're going to have no backyard. And uh, we found two watermelon today. My Congo watermelon has taken over. <laughs> and uh, we came out here today and found two watermelon. Found this baby right here. Look at the size of that. Beautiful. And uh, this one over here. Look at that. Beautiful. Delicious. I can't wait. I know. I like watermelon. And my pumpkins. Ooh. I've got, uh, I don't know, three or four pumpkins. This is the biggest one right here. He's doing great. And then we found a couple more. I found this one right here. There. And then we found one hiding in here. Right there. And we have another one. Whew. Just popping up on the vine right here. Oh yeah, I see that. So, the garden's doing good. We're hanging in there. The apples are huge. We're not gonna walk over there. We picked blackberries, and uh, I guess that's it for today, Alabama. So, be safe in the storms, and happy gardening, everybody. Woohoo!